Now, the difference between wheel training and ice training is the same difference like uh, walking and skating. There's no traction on the ice. It's terrible. Now, the luge track's almost a mile long. It's about three quarters of a mile long, about 15, 16 curves. And they start you off at the bottom. Everybody thinks you start at the top. No, that'd be murder, right? No, they start you at the bottom, like on curve 10, and you're going about 20 miles an hour. And you're just bang, 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 bang. I mean, nothing seems to work when you're first learning. And you just crash, 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 crash. And then finally, you figure it out. So as soon as you figure it out, coach moves you up a couple of curves. Now you're going, you know, you're going 30 miles an hour. Well, 30 miles an hour, gosh, there's no time to think. Everything's so fast. Crash, 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 crash. Figure it out. Move you up a couple of curves. Now you're going 40, right? And you literally crash your way to the top. I mean, you do. Right. <laughs> it, it, it takes about 100 runs. If you're pretty good, it takes about 100 runs to get you to the top. Now you made it to the top, well, big deal. Now that just means you can drive a car, but you can't go and drive an Indy yet, right? So you have to perfect. You have to get it right. It's like you just learn a, 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 a brand new phrase to, to tell somebody about the business, but you haven't, you know, it's not yours yet, right? You haven't got the nuances yet, and you just need to practice, practice, practice. Hey, it may not work out the first 10 times, but it doesn't matter. You just keep on keeping on, and you perfect, and eventually it, it, it does become yours, and it starts working.